Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on adding and subtracting like fractions. As we look at our, excuse me, got the hiccups today. <laughs> As we look at our real world link on shoes, Sean surveyed 10 classmates to find which type of tennis shoe they like to wear. What fractions do students like to wear cross trainers? Well, to do that, the number of students that wear cross trainers in our table is five, so we're going to write a five. Wow, hiccups, excuse me again, five over the total number of students surveyed. Well, that's going to be five plus three plus two, which is 10 for our total, so that's gonna be five over 10. What fractions of students like to wear high tops? Well, high tops were two out of the total 10. Excuse me again, and what fraction of students like to wear either cross trainers or high tops? Well, the cross trainers was 5 out of 10. The fractions that wear high tops was 2 out of 10. And when we add these, it's 7 out of 10. So, 7 tenths of the students like to wear either cross trainers or high tops. Now explain how to find 3 tenths plus 2 tenths and then find the sum. Well in our explanation we're going to write add, <coughs> excuse me again this is not going to go down to the highlight reel if the hiccups keep going here. Anyways we're going to add the numerators since the denominators are the same. And we have common denominators. They're both 10. So we can just add 3 tenths plus 2 tenths to get 5 tenths. Now, we can simplify that by dividing by 5 on top and bottom and getting 1 half. Let's continue on, hopefully hiccup free. So our key concept today is basically adding and subtracting like fractions. Like fractions are fractions that have a common denominator. So. To add or subtract like fractions, add or subtract the numerators, which is the top part of the fraction, and write the result over the denominator. So when we have 5 halves plus 2 tenths, we add the numerators 5 plus 2 to get 7, and we keep the denominator at 10 since it's in common. With variables, if it's a over c plus b over c, we keep the c because that's in common, and we just do a plus b. Now, the catch here is as long as c is not 0, we're not going to be writing fractions over 0 since we can't divide by 0. We can do the same thing with subtraction. We have a common denominator, and we're just going to subtract 11 minus 4 to get 7. And the same holds true for our algebra here, where a minus b over c. So let's look at these. Our first example is 1 third plus 2 thirds. Well, this is just 1 plus 2 over our common denominator of 3, so that's just 3 thirds, which is the same thing as 1. Now, our negative fractions here. Bet you thought it was going to be really simple today. No, no, we have negative fractions. Remember, negative 1 half, we're going to write that negative sign with the numerator or we could write it with the denominator, but when we're computing here, it says we're typically going to keep it in the numerator. So we're gonna keep that negative sign with the numerator, when we're calculating at least. So if we rewrite this, we have negative three plus that one over our common denominator of seven. Well, now we get to practice our integers some more. Woohoo! Negative three plus one is negative 2 over 7. So you can keep the negative in the numerator, or you could put it back on the side, negative 2 sevenths. Negative fractions. Awesome. Now, in C, we have negative 2 plus the negative 2 all over 5. Well, negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 5. 4 over 5, so negative 4 fifths is our answer. What about negative 1 fourth plus 1 fourth? Well, it's negative 1 
plus 1 all over our common denominator of 4. Well, negative 1 plus 1 is 0 fourths. Our answer here is just 0. I have no fourths, so I just have 0. So the key here with our negative fractions, we're going to add just like we did with integers. And since our denominators are all alike, we can just keep the denominators on the bottom. What about our word problem with adding fractions? Eduardo used fabric to make three costumes. He used one-fourth yard for the first, two-fourth yard for the second, and three-fourth yards for the third costume. Very creative there. How much fabric did Eduardo use all together? Well, let's write our addition problem first with our fractions. We have one-fourth plus two-fourths plus three-fourths. All right. Well, our bottom here is 4. Our denominator is 4. And for our numerator, we're going to add 1 plus 2 plus 3. These is 1, 2, 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 3 is 6 over 4. Now, to simplify this, we can divide by 2 on the top and the bottom. And we end up with 3 halves. And 3 halves is an acceptable answer. Or you could do this in your head as well to get this into a mixed number. 3 on the inside, 2 on the outside. You would get 1 and this 1 over that 2. So 1 and a half works as well. And since we're talking about fractions, let's just keep our answer in fractions. 1 decimal point 0.5 is the same number, but since we're talking about fractions here, let's just keep our answers in fraction form. Now there's one thing we haven't done yet, and that's subtracting like fractions. So 5 ninths minus 2 ninths. Well, again, we have a common bottom, so our denominator is going to stay 9. And we have our 5 minus 2, and 5 minus 2 is 3 over 9. And again, I can simplify this fraction by dividing by 3 on top and bottom. We always want to write our answers in simplest form, and this simplifies to 1 third. Now, if every problem was like that, I'm sure we'd be okay. But we have some negative fractions here as well. So negative fractions, let's rewrite. Our bottom here is still 9. We have negative 5 minus 2. Well, we have a note here on the side to subtract an integer, add its opposite, or keep, change, opposite. You mean we have to do that with fractions too? Of course we can. So we have negative 5 keep plus, that's our change, negative 2 over 9. And negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7 ninths, or just negative 7 ninths with the negative on the side. Again, either answer works. Negative 11 twelfths minus a negative 5 twelfths. All right, let's rewrite that. We have our common bottom here of 12 already. Then we'll have negative 11 minus a negative 5. Again, keep change opposite is so clutch, so crucial here. We're going to keep the negative 11 change our subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative 5 is a positive 5. And negative 11 plus 5 is negative 6 over 12. Now this fraction I can also simplify by dividing by 6 on top and bottom. And my resulting fraction here is negative 1 over 2, or simply negative 1 so when our denominators are alike, are common, we keep that bottom number, and we do what we need to do to the numerators, to the tops. If it includes keep change opposite, we need to keep change opposite. That's it. Good luck.